Americans love guns. We love them. So can we keep the peace while keeping our peace? We'll show you three innovative ways people are trying to curb gun violence without using the C word. That's today's BFD. No matter what your personal stance on gun control may be, basically everyone agrees we should do whatever we can to reduce gun violence. There are 30,000 gun-related deaths in the United States every year. Luckily, there are some innovative ideas on how to stop it that don't involve arming everyone in a nationwide Hunger Games. It's not about getting rid of guns, it's about getting guns out of the hands of murderers and criminals. Here's how we do it. Number one, trade them in. First on the list are voluntary trade-ins of guns. You can trade your guns in for cash in Chicago, cameras in Canada, and depressingly enough, groceries in Los Angeles. Guns aren't necessarily for committing violent crimes, but if someone's desperate enough to trade one in for grocery money, chances are they're not too far away from using that gun to rob you for grocery money. The only thing stopping them now is saving up to buy a ski mask, which can be expensive. Number two, Project Longevity. One way to reduce gun violence in cities has gone statewide in Connecticut. Project Longevity puts the main perpetrators of gun violence, gang members, face to face with the people they've affected. These criminals and at-risk kids are forced to sit down with their parents, clergy, and neighbors. They get told they're part of the community and that support is there for them to transition out of the gang lifestyle. It's based on research that says the majority of gun crime is committed by less than 0.5% of a city's population. Now, if you can get through to this violent minority, you can make the entire city a safer place. Next, we'll get those same people off drugs and get them addicted to Starbucks, like real Americans. Number three, don't make killers famous. It may not make up the majority of gun violence, but this country has a bit of a mass shooting problem. Since 1982, we've had at least 61 mass murderers with firearms, far more than anywhere else. We're number one. <laughs> oh boy. Psychologists claim that turning shooters into celebrities is part of what encourages more shootings. They advise the news not to do three things. Don't show photographs of the killer, don't make the body count the lead story, and don't make the killer into some kind of anti-hero basically the opposite of everything we do. Mass killing stories should be made as boring as possible. Look, no one wants to copycat a loser. It's similar to how Carrot Top causes prop comedy. Guys, just say no. Ugh. Getting creeped out just thinking about that. Hopefully by implementing these and other creative solutions, we can free ourselves from gun violence and maintain our right to bear arms. Can't let those damn Brits waltz back in here and take our property. Want to do more? Click the link below to join the coalition to stop gun violence, seeking to stop gun violence through policy advocacy, research, and strategic engagement. For BFD, I'm Joe Hartzler. Be sure to subscribe.